Good morning and welcome to the morning show with Angel and Tina. We're so excited to have you joining us today. Tina, how are you doing? I'm doing fabulous. However, we didn't, we couldn't get on Facebook live yesterday. So I know a lot of you guys were texting us and emailing us and reaching out to us and pretty much blowing us up because we were not live. So today we are live. So happy new year. (laughs) <laughs> That's right, right? We, uh, it was the first, the first show of the year and technical difficulties could not get the show to stream live over to social media. We did record it. We did post it. We it had an incredible it. conversation. You don't want to miss it, right? You absolutely want to go back and grab and grab that. Mary Silver was here launching her brand new book. Speaking of Mary Silver, she just posted that she hit bestseller this morning her book literally just launched this morning and she's already hit bestseller in two different categories she just re- she just tagged us in a post so she yeah. did it congratulations uh, mary we are so Thanks excited for mary it's huge it's a big deal and love that she came on the show to talk about it right if you've got a book coming out right we want to be your morning show where you launch great big in a great big beautiful way we also had uh cesar cervantes was on and he's a tedx trainer um a comedian and so had talked a lot about the future of ted talks and so, yeah, absolutely go. It was our New Year's show. We did have technical difficulties. It is recorded and ready for you. But in studio or in our virtual studios, we have our fabulous guests here with us today. Cora, how are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. How about you? Well, where are you coming from, Cora? I'm in Indian Land, South Carolina. So by like Charlotte, North Carolina. You're by me. Really? I'm in Lake Norman. Well, what the heck? We'll have to meet in real life then. <laughs> For real? Like, how did we, wait, how did we get, how did we meet on on Facebook? Did somebody introduce us? Brandy, Brandy Shaver. Oh, Brandy. Oh, I love Brandy. I love Brandy too. I'm not usually obsessed with people. I'm kind of obsessed with I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with her and I were speaking, her and I were texting last night, like late night. <laughs> and we have one of my biggest fans in studio today, <laughs> Dagmar <laughs> Torres. No relation. However, we are like sisters from another mister. So, okay. So you're not related. Thank you. We're not related. Do we look related? No, we are not related. But you could be like sister-in-law or, you know, something. I mean, there could be some, some family connection, right? I've got like all my sister-in-laws, we have the same last name, right? There could be. No, we're not related. No. Nope. Well, I'm sure we both wish that we were related. Are you are you in North Carolina too? No, I am. I'm in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Okay. Well, she's kind of close to me. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> like six hour drive, I think. <laughs> six hour drive. Angel's like a six hour. Well, no, she's a little bit more than that. Uh, yeah, I'm meeting somebody for lunch. I mean, she texted me. She's like, I'm an hour and a half away from Orlando, do you want to have lunch? So well, I'm an hour and a half away from Orlando the other way. So like where do you, where is she at? On the other side of Orlando? Yeah, on the other side. Yeah. So we're gonna meet. So we're gonna have to meet on Saturday. I'm like, I can't do that weekday scramble mm-hmm. lunch thing. That's three like you hours literally took six hours on your lunch date that time. Yeah, I didn't know. Florida's a big place. So my husband and I this weekend, we were talking about you know, I was looking at places to ride, ride bikes because he's a cyclist and we're brand new to Florida. And I found this, um, I found this article of, of a gal who goes and looks for trails, but there's a, there's a bike slash pedestrian bridge, um, over the floor, you know, around the Florida Keys. And I thought, oh, let's go and do that. It's like six hours from here. It is. Cause that's where I had my divorce party. <laughs> I, I went to the keys for my divorce party and oh my god it was so beautiful but there is this big huge long bridge and it's I think it's two lanes and two lanes but it's very low to the ground so I mean but it's so pretty like so it's so well, so so pretty there's a, they said that there's a section that that there's a its yep. own pedestrian bridge yep, there is so, um so we want to do that but we can't just, we can't just go down there and do it. It is, Florida's big. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know how you're going to, cause like it's a, if it's, it's a long way, like, so either you're going to have to have a, somebody drop you off on the other side and have a hotel on this side or vice versa. Cause like, you're not going to want to drive, ride back. 
You'd be exhausted. You won't do round trip? <laughs> You'd be exhausted. It's like miles and miles and miles. And you got the wind. Oh, so I you work out. <laughs> like, I work out. <laughs> We're gonna have that little song that says i work out i mean i got off coffee we'll do the trick too so coffee yeah coffee yeah. right there it'll do the trick <laughs> especially for angel and i well i i have a goal right you know last year was so focused on really keeping the business right keeping business up and running learning new ways to you know, connect and build a business without traveling, without being in person. So that was a huge focus. But this year, this is my new focus. In addition to that, right? You know, I'm going to add some things. Are this is the- my new focus. Oh, Jennifer, Jennifer Lopez. Lopez. <laughs> yeah, she's like a J Lo fanatic right now. We're the same age. Well, actually, she's older than you. Even better. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm like. I'm in awe. And so, yeah, so I need to get my fanny out of this chair and on, you know, onto a bicycle or yeah, whatever. She, she works out all the time, all the time. Okay. So this might not be, this is, you know how they say shoot for the moon, you'll land. And land them up the stars. This is my moon. Right? <laughs> she got her booty out there too. <laughs> like, this is my moon. This is my moon. I'm shooting for <laughs> I mean, it just, it just landed. So last week, or like two weeks ago, when Jennifer Lopez released, <laughs> when Jennifer Lopez, re- oh, she's getting hot. <laughs> when Jennifer Lopez released her latest thing, her latest single, she put out this, this like photo of her completely naked. And Angel was like, oh my God, I need a body like this. Yeah. Tina <laughs> goes around. Running over. <laughs> Tina goes around, you know, looking online at, you know, good looking guys. I find like a good looking woman. I'm like, I want to be that. I want to <laughs> do that. Right? I want to be just like that. Um, and so I look in the mirror and I pretend like I'm going to hold this up and like put my face on it. <laughs> well, you got to buy the JLo beauty products. Cause you know, she doesn't smoke. She doesn't drink. She doesn't do drugs. She lays flat. Like everybody's asked her what her tips were like her, you know, cause she's never had anything done and she looks the same, like no wrinkles, <laughs> no nothing. Not as Cora gets on here this morning. She's like, do you guys have a filter or something? I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> we are so filtered. Well, She's <laughs> like, I look horrible. Do you guys have like a filter on? We're like, yes. <laughs> Push it all the way to the right. <laughs> it's called the J Lo filter. It is. We are absolutely filtered, exactly. and which is so sad because I'll look at myself on the weekends, right? I and it's really actually. I will tell you. Okay, this is real life stuff. You know, used to do, you know, Facebook Live, do all this stuff all the time. Right. But now I'm like, now I'm not camera ready. Like I never used to worry about that before. It yeah. just never was a thing. But now that I'm like on all day and there's the filter and the lights and I like the whole thing, like if I don't have that, it's like, hmm, sorry, not camera. Do you feel a little diva ish now, Angel? I kind of do. Like, like what happened to me? I never worried about that stuff before at all. And now I find myself. I find myself wanting my life. Well, you know, remember I used to take all these pictures of us when we were in like in person and everybody would be like, oh my gosh, like what kind of filter do you have on your phone? Well, my phone used to, I used to have an LG and I had like this filter on it where it made you all. Made you look like a porcelain doll. Yeah. Yeah, And and everybody was like, oh my God, Tina, I love the filters. Now I got this iPhone, iPhone and I'm taking pictures. I'm like, oh, I don't like it. I want my old phone back. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't filter. It's like, it's like real. It's yeah. Like real. And then you see yourself in real life and you're like, that's not how I look. <laughs> right. And I'm like, I need, where's my, where's my I've never life been, filter at? I've never been like this. Like I've never been like this before. And so well, for I, the past 10 months, we've had filters and lights and camera ready makeup. And then you look at yourself in real life and you're like, Hmm. I went to a, I went to an event last week and they took pictures of us and we were in real life person. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, all right. So, so, okay. So Corey, you doing a lot on camera. You doing a lot on video. Have uh, you seen a shift in how you <laughs> react to the camera or is it? 
just TV. yeah no I'm on I use I go on the camera a lot it's funny like when I'll pop on like a Facebook live from my phone because like with my now that I'm with Brandy and her team and stuff like they give you challenges to do like we did a weekly or was it a daily it was a 14 day one mm. and then weekly one so I mess with the filters but like it's funny the feedback I get is or friends and people who follow me will be like I really like when you just kind of show up all natural like filters are great but can you just be you and I was like yeah that's actually the ultimate compliment so I just uh for eight days I was in Florida I went from <laughs> my husband did you guys see that <laughs> was he naked no but almost <laughs> told him I was out here too. His face was bright red. He was like, you're live? What? I can't even. I wish he would have walked in first. Your face, your face too. You're like, <laughs> I can't even. Of course. Oh happened. my gosh. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Needed the rated G show until so January 14th, and on January 14th, it won't go from <laughs> G to maybe R rated. I'm sorry, he was in his new, he just he does MMA and he just got his new like MMA shorts, and so they're oh, short. Oh, we want to see. She's like, Oh, bring him back, come I'll back, Cora's husband, come <laughs> back. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't have to have the uh, magic mic guy on then. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, right? Oh, oh, oh I'm so sorry. But anyway, oh, it is Tuesday up. and we are all getting a little hot in here. <laughs> I agree with you, Cora. Like, I do think that we relate to when, it, when there is, it's more natural and it's, um, you know, more honest. Like I had a friend who, she, she was losing her husband, like her husband just passed away. And she was sharing, you know, a lot of the grieving process, like her thoughts, she was really journaling and sharing that. And she had shared some photos, um, kind of just some really tender moments of, of him and her. And of course, he, you know, he was frail, right? Not, and, and she had some people, you know, and she shared this post that people reached out to her and told her, you know, to take it down. Cause you know, it wasn't, it wasn't positive, right? It wasn't. Oh. And it was, you know, a little offensive. And, and I thought this is really like her, her posts are so honest yeah. and they're so full of love and, and tenderness. Like, but people, you know, it's like this weird thing. Like people don't really want honesty yet. We say yeah. we like we do, but we don't. Mm -hmm. It's like, give it to me straight and be honest with me. Don't lie to me. But at the same time, don't show me too much. Don't be yeah. this. Yeah. Please filter yourself and don't be and don't be negative because we only need positivity things right yeah, you know right. be yourself be natural but oh my god look at the rolls on her body and oh my god look at the wrinkles and i can't believe she went on facebook live like that and oh mm -hmm. my god which one do you want are you trying to lift somebody up in fact i just put something on my facebook this morning talking about how people are you know they talk so much about when somebody is putting their like their goals, like you know, they're running or their transformation goals, or them being a mommy and their mommy pictures, or them, you know, falling in love. And so many people put so many negative words towards that, you know, oh, don't put that on there. It makes everybody else feel bad. And yeah. you know, all this stuff. I'm like, why can't we be happy for these people who are going through a transformation in their life right. and who are being vulnerable and honest right. up front on social media? And for a long time, I used to call Facebook fake book oh, because yeah. you only put the good stuff on Facebook. Right. You know, you don't put, oh, my husband just left me and I found him cheating or, you know, I just lost my job and now I have nothing. You know, you don't put those kind of things on there. You only put the nice, happy family, everybody smiling, you know, instead of the kids screaming, jumping off the couch and you're going, <laughs> why did I have kids? <laughs> what? Yep. And then what, what, on top of that, what I find interesting about that is, you know, then you have someone like, what's it called? Like juggling the Jenkins or do you know what I'm talking about? She's just her raw, authentic self. And she, oh, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 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 I forget her name, but yeah. like, you know, she was just struggling with depression, addiction. I'm not sure. I'm not really into it, but like, and she has millions of followers and supporters for doing that. So it's yeah. like, is it because she found that niche? Is it, you know, you know, because she put herself out there and then people with the same struggles were like, holy crap, someone's actually putting this out there. 
yeah. you know and then you know you have your facebook friends who you probably don't really know and they only want to see the pretty side of things mm -hmm. positive yeah, and that's I so think. true too because we've had a lot of people who have come from drug addiction alcohol addiction i mean some of these stories we've heard and now they have been able to turn their life around mm -hmm. but the people that follow them and that want to be coached by them are mm -hmm. all previous people who have drug addict, drug addiction or alcohol addiction, because they say, if she can do it and she's been in the same place, yeah. I can do it too. That's right. Exactly. A lot of people is uh, afraid of share the negative as well. Um, but I think that those are the stories that we need to share. Those are the stories that need to be out there and out in the public and, um, you know, being talked about hundreds and hundreds of times because those are the ones that inspire us to get out of our comfort zone and, and, you know, aspire for more. So, you know, I love, you know, I'm all about positivity, positivity, but at the same time, I love to hear those raw, natural, true stories. Yeah. And we need more of those. We need more of those. We need, we need your story, your struggle, but, but not from a place of, of, you know, powerless, right, and victim, exactly. but to empower, right? Exactly. We all struggle, we all fall down, but we're willing to get up, right? We're willing to get out of bed in the morning. Tina, you shared a really powerful post the other morning that I thought, you know, got a lot, I don't know if it got a lot of comments, but it was, uh, it was depression tips mm -hmm. um, on, and, you know, simple things like, you know, running, you know, <laughs> You know, well, taking it, you know, getting in the shower, not in the bathtub, but the actual shower. You don't need to wash, but get in the shower, you know, and just, I it mean, was, because this time was. of year, and I used to feel this way too, but this time of year, because there's nothing like to look forward to, you know, Christmas is over the, you know, merry and bright and, you know, the giving season is now over and now it's like January and you're like, oh, but I think a lot of people have. What is it called? Seasonal depression? Yeah, yeah. there's seasonal depression. Yeah. There's the letdown after the holidays, yeah. right? And, but, you know, for it's like it's also like a time of refresh and renewal, like to, to, to cleanse. But mm -hmm. the point was she shared this story, you know, these tips on depression and people people reacted like, okay, I go through this too. Like yeah. I'm, I'm dealing with this and it's just nice to have a, an outlet. Right, of people that have, you know, can relate. Mm -hmm. they, they, At some point of life, we all get depressed. Mm -hmm. We all go through it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. When I first shared my story of um, my my fall <laughs> two years ago, um, I was so ashamed because I don't. You don't want people to know that. You know, you don't want people to know, especially like for me. I'm like I'm the freaking gratitude specialist, and I couldn't feel, find anything to be grateful for. But I did, I was able to get myself out of it. But when I shared it, so many people came up to me and said, oh my God, I'm an army mom too. And I became an empty nester and I just got a divorce. You know, all of those things that had hit me, you know, you were able to touch those people. And now those people relate to me even that much more and know that you weren't born like that, you know? And that's one of my first chapter in my book. It's called The Black Sheep, like how I got to where I am today you know, how I grew up and how I became who I am, but all the falls too, all the failures that I had to come through. And I think when you turn those failures into something so successful, it makes those people relate to you that much more and makes your story relatable and makes you that real person. Yep. Yeah. So Corey, Cor Corey, Cora, sorry. <laughs> Give us a little background on how you became the fabulous Cora Spalding. She's like, I just came out this way. <laughs> um, so it's funny that you guys brought up like alcohol and addiction in the fall and stuff. I will be two years sober uh, January 12th. So two years ago, I actually went to treatment. Um, my husband and Not I- Not the alcohol part. I'm cheering for the sober part. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> hey, she's an alcoholic. Hey, she's an alcoholic. <laughs> no. No. So I just I decided that like I had had enough. My husband and I were struggling to put it in a nutshell. And uh, due to that, I'm from a family, both sides, uh, alcoholism, depression, anxiety run rampant. And- uh, it just kind of came to a head, you know, and I decided to clean up because I knew inside 
that I am a strong, powerful, independent woman. And I wasn't doing the things to live that lifestyle. So mm. two years in the making and a couple. Or what was, because you know how they always say that you always have your rock bottom moment. Mm-hmm. Did you have a rock bottom moment? Yeah, I did. Um, my husband and I had split. Um, we were just married a year, I think. Uh, married in 2017, December of 2018, I decided to move out and get my own place. And I had been not drinking for probably seven or eight months. And then I got to my apartment and I got the lonely. And mm-hmm. I remember I was just kind of sitting there like I could go do yoga because my place was gorgeous. Um, I had a great job. And I was like, or I could get drunk. And that core decided to get drunk and uh, for 12 days. So after 12 days, I was like, all right, it's time to go do something about this, you know? And so that was, that was my hole. And I crawled all of it uh, in treatment. And then my husband and I have a really cool story about getting back together right after I got out of treatment and we've been flourishing ever since. And so has, so have I in my business. So that's an amazing story. Everybody is just going, yay, Cora, congratulations. I've been the same way. Um, it's, it's amazing how, and it's anybody, it's, it's men too, but because this is a women panel, yeah, how women can get themselves and turn themselves around, mm-hmm. like almost by themselves. Like it took me like 90 days and then God started bringing people into my life to help me, you know, to lift me up even more. And I'm sure you had the same thing. I have goosebumps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. who, who, who were those people that lifted, that lifted you up? It's funny, it's, it's the people who kind of came out of the woodwork, like old friends um, that were like, I still get a little emotional, like ones that I hadn't seen in a long time. Um, my husband, since we decided, like, I asked him, I was out on a Friday and that Sunday I said, you know, like, come to church with me, basically. We had our favorite church for the pastor there, married us. And um, I said, you know, if you have even a hint of wanting to work this out, come to church. And he said no. And when I got there, he was actually there. And so I was like, oh, you know, I just kind of knew um, my mom, my brother, um, just really good friends from high school. And it's also, I think, where you figure out you have to let a whole bunch of people go to. Yeah. So I did a lot of cutting and clearing. Yeah. Um, and I still can. That's a big practice in my life right now. Um, I think it's so it's so um, needed, though, because I had to prune and cut all those negative and old and broken branches yeah. off in yeah. order for me to bring those positive, yeah. more positive people. And some of those people were family members. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's the hardest thing, but it's, it's now the thing that I had to do. Yep, exactly. Yeah, you got to just make room for the good people. And when it's too clustered from all the yeah. not needed people, I guess you could see, say. Somebody, um, somebody told me years ago that <clears throat> your life is, is like a, a flower or a rose bush or whatever. And your yep. roses can't grow when yep. you have all of this dead, um, negative, dark energy around it, you know, that you got to prune those away yep. so that way your roses can grow and that way it has room, yep. to, you know, to, to grow like that. And I thought, oh, that is such a true analogy. Like you have to cut those people away. You do. You know, oh, you're not doing justice to me. I, I got to let you go. And we get so conditioned, especially with social media, that we have to have, you know, the 5,000 friends and like, you got to friend all these people and to unfriend someone is rude when in fact, in your personal life, they don't really care because they're probably not watching you anyway. Mm-hmm. And then in your business, they just say they're taking up real estate. So if they're not interacting with you in your business or your life, what are they there for? And yeah. so once you clear that, it actually really amazed me in the past three, four months, how much clearing I've done and how much you know, your vibe will attract your tribe. So that tribe has just really stepped up. And I'm like, there you are. <laughs> because, because you made room for them. I remember I read a book called Necessary Endings. And mm-hmm. it talks a lot about walking away from things aren't serving you. You know, yes. people are in your life for a reason, a season or a lifetime, and it's okay. But we tend to like hold on to people and then we're angry, right? We get bitter if we stay at a job or stay in a relationship and we're mad at them and mad at but it's not their fault. If we're not, if we're not happy and we're staying somewhere like that's, we need to take responsibility. And they talk about, about that rose bush pruning 
yeah. in, in the book. It helped me to, it helped me to let go of some, some things. Well, let me read your bio really quick, Cora. Okay. Then we're going to come and hear your story to Dagmar. Um, oh, I don't know. <laughs> she hasn't even read it yet. She's already crying. Yeah. She's... No, it's just, it's a simple little bio, kind of not much to do with the story. So I made it, I tried to make it easy for you. <laughs> it, was, yeah, it is, but, but it's, it's your story now that I, yeah, I'm just connecting to. She has a diverse background in coaching, business, and fitness in the MLM wellness space. She's helped hundreds of folks reach their goals, whether it was with fitness or weight loss goals. Oh, so see, you're, you. I can help you get that J-Lo booty, yes. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm already stacked. Like I have her same body style. I don't oh, have. So you're legs. already stacked. You're already stacked in my booty. <laughs> I have the booty, but I don't have her her legs. Um, we'll get you. <laughs> uh, right. So she is helping change lives, and you can see she started with her own. Like she walks the walk, and so a lot of times when you're working with a coach. You want somebody who has been there, who has done it. This isn't just a book they read or theory. They have walked it. And so often what we learn from our coaches is less about what to do and often more what not to do, like what mistakes to avoid and, and how they fell down and struggled. And it's the encouragement for when you struggle or you kind of take a couple of steps back or well, and especially this time of year, I think people are really conscious about fitness and wellness. We've all been sitting for 10 months. We've all developed, well, yeah. Zoom butt, right? Just can see. It's not the J-Lo booty. It's not the J-Lo booty. <laughs> it's it's right. the chair booty. I was like trying to like kind of try, trying to put like something positive in my thing. And I'm like, I only gained 10 pounds. I didn't gain 19. So <laughs> like, it wasn't as bad as it could have been. And I think I gained all those 10 pounds in the last four months. Right? I've gotten out of my routine. I've gotten out of my, just out of my routine, right? And off my um, familiarity, right? I'm in a new place. I'm in a temporary place, but I'm getting it back. I got new running shoes. I'm getting back into habits and routines. And you have JLo's picture on your mirror. Well, I have it on my phone and I look at her. <laughs> Um, so, so what was the first big goal that you absolutely crushed Cora so that you knew you're like, all right, this is my, this is my jam. So my brain goes two ways. I'm like business and life. Is it one of the same? My big first goal, uh, personally was my, my year of sobriety. Mm -hmm. So that when I passed that goal, I was like, Ooh, one year. Cause I like, remember I couldn't see past six or seven months. There's where I would get to. Right. So there's personal goal. And then, um, business wise, because I am in love with my network marketing business, um, was hitting, I won't say the number, but I, I, I took a number that I thought was unattainable. And I was like, okay, you know, cause here's what I could shoot for. And that's probably attainable, but I'm going to make it this. And, um, I hit that, uh, summer of last year and just to hit that financial goal and to look at my husband and be like, I told you, I told you I was going to do that. that, so did that you hit your goal or did you surpass it? I, well, I hit the big one. So I hit the, like the, you know, the one where like your upline is like, you should shoot for this, you know, they all have like, you know, executive director, if you will. So you should aim for this. And I was like, ah, I'm going to go one more. And then when we got there, I was like, oh, all right, we're good. We're comfy. So, and that's okay. So, so what was the, the, the motivation? And then, cause I imagine it wasn't just, oh, I hit it. And I hit with success after success, after success. What, <laughs> what was driving you? Oh, what was driving me? So I, my main drive is just to help other people really. So like, I like to, cause I'm a fitness coach and I'm, you know, all that stuff. I just love helping other people. That's what makes me happy. So to get where I needed to be was helping people where they needed to be. And I don't know if you ladies know much about network marketing or if people on here do, but, um, yeah, so just watching people underneath me hit their goals and getting the messages and the phone calls and the tears and the laughs and like, I get emotional over that. It's like, they're like, I never thought I'd hit this this quickly. Or like, I got a message over Christmas, like, because of you, um, I, you know, I hit this goal and I lost this much weight. It kind of goes hand in hand. So that's Wait, you're not, I mean, a lot of people are changing lives, but you're also changing their health. Yeah, like you know, losing weight and their health style and their their stuff that they're doing health, you know, with their life, you're mm -hmm. changing that too. Yeah, so it's you know yeah. the money, but it's also their it actual goes, life. 
for me, it goes hand in hand. You know what I mean? It's just, it has to, because I mean, you can have a, you can have a financial goal and we all want to make great money. You know what I mean? We want to live the dream and not punch a clock and things like that. Um, but to me, I also have to be fulfilled while I'm doing it. Mm-hmm. So that's how I do that. Mm-hmm. Well, how do people, how do people connect with you, Cora? uh on my facebook page my personal facebook page or i have my business page that i just launched and it's my name cora may spalding okay. so cora may in there so people know we should we should make it so that yeah it's cora may spalding i'll put that in there when i don't I even think i knew it. that yeah um and it's said it here on here too um but she also has a free attraction marketing coaching call yes Yes. Yep. So you can do, um, the offer is like, you can do, if you're interested in a coaching call, attraction marketing call, which is what got me to where I am, we can do that. Um, but also if you are interested in the fitness aspect, um, we can do, I do a free consultation to kind of go over where you are now, where you'd like to be and what it would take to get you there. Fabulous. 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 All right. So, so Dagmar. How did yeah. you um, give us a little bit of your background and how you came to be the fabulous Dagmar Torres? Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to try to summarize everything, uh, maybe in two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I think that it all sums up to um, 24 years of military service. And I'm currently also serving, I still have five more years to retire from my uh, public service position. But I started with network marketing and direct sales in the beauty industry like seven years ago. And um, I mean, through all that period of time, and I mean, took like three surgeries and um, very bad breakup and, um, you know, feeling chronically depressed that I was like, okay, I had enough. I need to, I need to get the Dagmar that I was before. Like I lost myself in the process. Mm. And um, this this past year, uh, that was that was when everything happened. I was like, okay, I need to do something not only for my business, but I need to do something like out of the box, like out of what I've been told that I have to do in order to achieve X or Y. So I ended up creating my own brand last year, um, starting coaching. And that's how I ended up here. <laughs> and she has a fabulous podcast. Yes. That I was just on. It's yes, actually, I forgot I her, that. I was her first guest. You were yes. her first guest? Is that the Fearless yes. Hour? Yes, that's the Be Fearless Hour. Um, and the purpose of that, that uh, Block of Life um, interviews is just to share, you know, success stories. Because I, like I was telling... Um, Andrew yesterday I'm in in many groups and I see these stories but they're like contained within a group like they're not public they these these stories need to be told like publicly everybody needs to hear them so if I through my my podcast or um inter blog up interview I'm able to serve as a bridge to somebody else to connect with a, someone that's going to take them into the next level and help them to achieve their goals with that. If I achieve that, then I have, you know, met my purpose in life. And that's, that's basically, you know, the, the purpose of my, my life podcast. <laughs> that's a pretty good purpose. That's a pretty good purpose. I agree with you, Dagmar. We hear so many success stories, people who have, you know, overcome and broke, you know, broken through some diff- pretty, pretty challenging times. And we hear those stories here on the Angel and Tina Morning Show. And then we get to celebrate their successes, right? When Mary Silver, right, comes on and then tells us her book hit, like, we celebrate that. When you said, Corey, what drives you is helping other people. You know, when things, I, I heard this phrase, this was years ago, and I heard it from a kid. He says, when things aren't going good, do good. Right? So when something's not going well in your life and you're just kind of down in the dumps, right? do something for somebody else, you know, serve somebody helps. And I think that's where network marketing, you know, if you've got, you know, some type of coaching program, you're, you're fueled by the fact that you help somebody overcome, like take that step, believe in themselves to put themselves out there. And now right, to share those stories on, on a platform like the 
was it the be fearless hour yeah. it is you know, your story matters and somebody right now and i say this right now somebody somewhere needs to hear your story like they, they are looking for you they are looking for the inspiration and the story and the advice and the wisdom um and the courage right that you have in your story right now and for us not to have it in a book not to be sharing it on podcasts, not to be out in the world, even sharing it on social media, it, we're doing a disservice. And that's mm-hmm. where we make the biggest impact is by pouring in to other people. So congratulations. The last couple of weeks, you know, you have a story, everybody has a story, you know, because yeah. so many people are like, Tina, I don't have a book. I don't have a book. I, you know, what am I going to write about? And, and, and I've been, I've been um, trained, you know, by somebody. <laughs> that everybody has a story you know your story doesn't need to be my story your story doesn't need mm-hmm. to be Cora's story your story doesn't need to be a Dagmar story but you have a story and somebody out there and if you can just touch one person just one person you can change mm-hmm. somebody's life mm-hmm. that is your purpose yeah. if you Who can just you? change one person's one person. life yeah. with your story with sharing your story that is your purpose that is why you are here mm-hmm. that's right all right, ladies, I need to talk a little bit and highlight our sponsor. Go to commercial break. Speaking of commercial breaks, you know, one of our sponsors today is his birthday. So happy birthday, Daniel Meyer with Sonic VA. We just want to wish you guys, we wish you a very happy birthday. Um, he has been our sponsor for the last seven months and complete and utter, I mean, the whole Sonic VA team. Um, I simply adore, simply, simply adore them. Well, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Daniel. They have, um, with Sonic VA, they've been handling a virtual assistant business that specializes in YouTube ready videos for speakers, authors, coaches, and entrepreneurs. So think about all of that content that you're creating. They will take that content, edit it, and put it into professional YouTube ready, into a YouTube ready sizzle reel, speaker reel video segment. Um, I mean, they did my, they did my sizzle reel for me, like instantly, even with very little content, we're going to go back and fix it because I needed to now give them some good stuff. But uh, YouTube is the most visited social media platform on the planet. And he says it should be at the center of all your marketing efforts. Consistently dropping engaging videos is the most effective way to deliver binge worthy content to your audience on YouTube. They know how to add sizzle to your recorded content, publish it with the right keywords and get you noticed. And you can check them out at sonicva.com slash video. That's sonicva.com slash video. Mention the Angel and Tina Morning Show to get a 10% discount off your first five videos. Also, Bliss by the Lake Boutique is our clothing sponsor. They're going to be coming on this month and doing a fun fashion show for us. Uh, follow them on social media. They get new inventory in every single week and they ship all around the globe. Get something fresh and new and uh, for your closet to get some inspiration in there. And then the Zondra TV network. We are digitally and globally streamed on all the digital streaming platforms. The ZTV network is one of the leading forerunners in the digital streaming um, industry. They have an incredible uh, incubator for all of their producers helping you to launch your TV show. So if you've got a YouTube channel, you do podcasts, you've ever thought about having your own TV show, schedule a discovery call with the Zondra TV network at beonztv.com. That's B-E-O-N-Z-T-V.com and get your, get your story in front of millions. Yes, I said millions. I mean, I think on Roku alone, they have over 500 million subscribers. So you definitely want to be where the eyeballs are at. Those are our sponsors. These are our fabulous guests. We love how our guests are willing to come on and just have that unscripted coffee chat. This is a piece of their story that you might not typically hear from stage or in a more formal setting. We get to peel back those those layers, but we are absolutely the bright start, the bright start to your day. So, Cora, what are we looking forward to? Do you have a do you have a word of the year that you are focused on, or what's your what what are you most excited about in this first quarter of twenty one? Uh, my word of the year is abundance. <laughs> so, um, and I, some people are like, oh, it's it's 
a generic term, but I'm, I'm a really, I'm a really big uh, advocate for manifesting and learning how to manifest and what works for you and what doesn't work for you. Um, so just enriching my life while enriching others, you know, helping others. And that, that theme has helped me tremendously in the last year of my life. And I know it's going to propel me for the next, my lifetime, you know? So that's, that's, that's what, what is, what is one thing that you do to manifest? Do you do like a certain thing? Uh, I read, okay, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, told I've been, I'm a fast manifester. So I'm like, I, I need to like, man, but then some things don't come true right away. And I'm like, oh man. That's okay. Cause they're just not meant to be, you know, it's all about like, we're given what we're given when we're supposed to be given it, you yeah. know? And I think that once you accept that and you realize that, especially when you don't get the things you want, you always have that hindsight where you're like, that's why that didn't happen, mm -hmm. you know? And so I'm a list maker. So when I want something, I make a list. I have several lists above my, my laptop over here. Um, I'm going to be doing a massive vision board. If we're going to make our, a big one, my husband's going to make it for me. So just that visual and writing it down, I think kind of seals the deal. Mm -hmm. I like the writing it down. I think that when you write it down in your handwriting, it's like it does something like it it gives you more power almost it does and it's your words and your emotions behind it so yeah. it only matters to you so and then it goes into your subconscious and then if subconsciously you're thinking that's already there exactly yeah you got it what about you dagmar what what exciting things do you have coming up in 2021 and do you have a, a word for the year oh yes i do have a word and that word is accomplished because this year is the year of checking off the list yeah. I want to close many chapters and like complete many projects that I have in my hands right now. Um, so that's my word for the year. And um, talking about projects, one of the things that I have coming up is um, my first course that is uh, coming out, uh, hopefully, if everything goes right on February. So, but it's in Spanish. I started like teaching in Spanish first because it's my first language. So it's easier for me kind of like, you know, let my uh, fear of public speaking out <laughs> and getting rid of. Um, but that's basically it. And um, so many other things that I have in the in the pot. So we'll see. <laughs> you're not going to tell anybody about what you have going on, like something that you have created recently? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, do you want me to say it now? Okay, well, I'll do. I'll do it. I, was, I, don't, I wasn't sure. <laughs> I, I was like, okay. Bring it out of you. <laughs> So I am creating, and I hope that I can also publish in February. Who knows, right? Next month is going to be the month. Um, a planner for network marketers uh, or entrepreneurs, whoever. I, I mean, it's just, I feel like there's so many planners out there that um, at some point just missing something. It's missing um, a place to, you know, write your ideas or right, you know, track something. And um, I'm trying to have everything packed up in just one place so people can, you know, um, evolve <laughs> and plan and execute their vision and plan in, um, in the best way possible. Sign me up, I'll buy one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got your first sale, look at yeah. that. She sent, she sent me a little video of all her stuff and I'm going, look at you. Like, and like, that was, I think, like in three like, hours. Day, she's like sending me all these videos. Look what I did. Look what I did. I think I'm going to hire you an angel. <laughs> it, it, right. It just flows out of you like water, right? It just uh, yes. starts pouring out when you're in your flow. Right? Yeah. You get everything else out of your way, all those other distractions. And, and this is a thing with entrepreneurs, right? We tend to wear a lot of different hats. Right? feeling like we've got a lot but when we can get rid of and just stay in our zone right our zone of mm -hmm. genius where we serve the highest at the highest level it does it just pours out well and you're definitely in the right in the right group of people like we are planners right so always you know awesome planners and list makers <laughs> yeah, list ma I was just saying she was like she has list I'm going yep I have list <laughs> <laughs> my very my very first book that I ever published and this was back in 2009 so this was 11 years ago 12 years ago and I remember, um, you know, I'd been wanting to write a book. I'd been thinking about it and I just, but you know, what, what do I write about? And at that time, I didn't know anybody who had published a book. I didn't know, I didn't know anything about publishing. Nobody, none of my friends, nobody had published a book. 
and I was, we had just come back from uh, a camping trip. We had taken the kids down to the four corners, the sand dunes. It was Labor Day weekend and we're driving back. And this was all, we were making a list of all the things we wish we would have brought with us. And so I started making my list and I'm like, I make lists for everything. And I, so my very first book that I wrote was lists that saved my life. And it was all about different checklists and the list that I use. People are always asking me, Angel, how do you, how do you? I'm like, this is this list. This is that list. And then the second book was lists that saved my business so that I could leverage that into, into marketing and clients. Cause lists that saved my life had nothing to do with my business, but <laughs> I am definitely a fan of lists. Like everything, my family knows, like if you want it, if you got more than three things, it becomes a list. Yeah. And yes. we ran our- Now, our now the, the, the uh, question is, do you get like this big, powerful thing like I do when you cross off everything on your list? Like, I don't cross. I'm not a cross offer. I do. <laughs> oh, I cross it off. And then if I, if I did something else that wasn't on the list, I add it to the list so I can cross it off. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I never cross. I, I check mark. Okay. okay. I never, yeah, I check things off and I've got my little kind of my system, right? Um, yeah, I never cross things off. Um, I used to do, I used to highlight it when it was done. Okay. So I could still see what it was. Cause um, when I used to work for the PGA, you know, I had a lot of information on those lists. So if I crossed it off, like maybe there was a number, mm -hmm. I, you know, I kept track of a lot of things. And so I would highlight it when it was done. So I could still see the information, but it, I could still read it as well. And so I'm, yeah, I am a master, <laughs> master at lists, at, in, at least in my own world. I'm the master. I'm the master. Um, but yeah, and, you know, and I will sometimes put things like on the calendar or, or the list after the fact, but more more for like journaling and keeping track of, you know, it's less about, hey, I accomplished that. But I need to know that I did it. So when I look back, I'm like, oh yeah, that was done. It might not have been on the list, but I actually did it. So it's more like tracking and journaling for stuff. But no, I don't, I never, I don't like cross. I don't know why. I'm like, I'm not a cross outer. Cross outer. Um, I'm, I do. I'm, a I'm like, you're the crosser. So we've got, so yeah, so there's a good question. Are you a crosser offer or a check marker, right? So, so Cora and I are, are checkers. Good expensive words that we're having here on the Angel and Tina Morning Show. Are you a crosser offer? A crosser offer? I think this, this is my technical term, right? I have very, very technical terms. Yeah. Um, but there's probably two two types of people, right? Those that like to cross off and those that like to check mark. Or so speaking of goals and mastering your year, we are hosting our first Mastering Your Year Masterclass this Friday. I forgot what time. <laughs> it's at 1 p.m. Eastern. At one, yeah, at 1 p.m. Eastern. And it's only $19. You can join. We're going to teach you all these things. Um, Angel, you probably have it right in front of you on your list right on my on my little list right we're we're talking about decluttering kind of reviewing and assessing what things maybe you need to let go of because that's super powerful creating a 3d vision board not just like a one but actually your home everything your environment being your entire vision board we'll talk about time blocking we'll talk about mastering your calendar yeah it's a fabulous we'll have worksheets all of that for you to to take away and it's yeah it's only 19 dollars it's this Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern time. It's posted on Eventbrite. We'll post the link. We'll post the link here for you. But, you know, I had bought my big giant wall calendar. And you're getting a lot of traction off that. Everybody's like, where'd you get it? I want one. I want one. Yeah. And it's big. It's, it's, it's a big <laughs> one too. It's a little, it was a little bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's and like her whole wall. It wasn't even the biggest one. I had Jade buy it, like order the one even smaller and it was still pretty big. But it's for me, the wall calendar is really just more of a visual, right? It's not my planner. I don't write down like everything. It's the big picture of what we want to do. And so we decided to put this mastering your, your 21 together. And so Tina and I are teaching that, co-hosting that on Friday. It'll be super fun. It's $19. And yeah, we're super, we're super excited to, to pull that together because even though right now it might feel like, um, you know, all the buzz and excitement from the year end and the glitz and glamour is over. It's really, I think it's Just a time beginning. of hope and yeah. inspiration and like to see like the possibilities that 
like you do you, right? What do you want it? And let's design it. You know, when we, we plan our success, right? And and so let's design design this year. Although I will I will also tell you, I am really kind of hesitant to design the entire year. Like I'm just like, let's just do the first quarter. Cause it's so- <laughs> well, yesterday we were talking about the Connect Summit and we were putting dates down because you know the dates get a- they get away from you. Like, so we, if we don't put them in our, in our calendar, then she's like, oh, we ha- I have something else going on in May. And I'm like, we didn't even set a date. So like, we have to set dates, you know, for the Connect Summit. And so I think we got our February, our March, our April. And then I go to May and she goes, oh no, no, no. I can only go the next 90 days. Yeah, I just, uh, you know, there's so much still like up in the air. And, uh, and so, yeah, I've only actually, I always plan my year, full year. But then last year, you know, we crossed everything out and then my right. calendar was so ugly because everything was crossed. See, I had to cross out. I remember you were crossing it off and I was like, how come you didn't erase it? I just crossed it off. Like, nope, no, nope, no, nope, that's not happening. That's not happening. So yeah, so we've only only got like the first first quarter really planned. And then this um, morning, she, I was like, what's the matter? Because she was like, so she was like, and I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, oh, I'm getting all the Connect Summit stuff together. She goes, I have May, June, July. I was like. I know. I, like, I don't want to plan ahead, but then. But I'm we like, really oh. do need to plan ahead because we didn't plan ahead for January. And now January has no Connect Summit. <laughs> but we've got, we've got all 10. We've got all 10 kind of. Yeah. So I'm a Fliberty gibbet right now. I will be on wait, it. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Fliberty gibbet. I don't know, like a little flit, like flighty, like a flibberty gibbet. You never heard of that? No. <laughs> oh gosh, I feel you, Angel. I know what that. Cora, Angel, you guys. I'm like, what? What is it? Cora and I. We are <laughs> they got it like that. Yeah, Dagmar and I are like, yeah, we never heard no. that before. <laughs> I want a T-shirt that says that. <laughs> Flibber- okay, how do you spell flibberty? Okay. Wait, what does that mean? Like you're like going back and forth, right? Like I love it, I hate like it. Like you're vacillating. I want it, I don't want it. Yeah, I want, I'm, I want to plan it, I don't want to plan it. Right? Liberty indecisive. I don't understand the word. Like indecisive. That a- That's probably a good way to, right? Yeah, indecisive. Yeah. And um, Cora, we're gonna send you a T-shirt that says "Flipperty Jibbit." I don't even know how to spell "flipperty." Flipperty. <laughs> say that. Uh, say that one more time. I know. What is it? Like, so it's keeping our options open, right? Yeah. Oh. I like that definition because <laughs> I like, I don't, was it a Disney movie or something? You're like being flibberty gibbet. Mm. Maybe it was. Know. She watches a lot of Disney. If you know where she got this flibberty, I don't even, I can't even say it. <laughs> flibberty gibbet word. Please let me know because I need to know where she got this word. It probably was a Disney movie that she Very watched years was, yeah. ago. Keeping my options. We're keeping our options We're open. Keeping right? our options. Well, that's kind of like me in the dating world. I'm keeping my I'm liberty and gym. I'm keeping my options open. There you go. <laughs> okay, so Cora, final like word of wisdom. Give oh. your contact information one more time. So contact information, Cora May, which is M-A-E, Spalding. There's no you in Spalding. Everyone thinks it's like the sport team. Um, business page. Uh, words of wisdom is never give never up. Never be a flipperty gibbet. <laughs> never stop being a flipperty gibbet. Checker marker offer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> yes. Yes. My I, word for you should... today in front of tens of thousands of people, never be a flipperty gibbet and a crosser marker offer. And they're like, what did she say? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we are, we're, we're making an impact, right? We're sharing our stories and yeah, we're finding our Fliberty gibbets out there our yes. our offers and our mark, check marker offers. Dag- All right, Dagmar, what about you? What are your final words and how can people get a hold of you? Yes, people can um, follow me or reach me out through my Facebook page, which just has my name, Dagmar Torres, or my personal profile. And they also can reach me through Instagram at uh, dmtorres00. My final words are like, you all have everything that takes to um, reach out for the start. So just unlock your potential and don't forget to be fearless. Oh. Don't forget to be fearless. 
Hers is all on point. <laughs> I know. Cora <laughs> said, don't be a flipperty dimmit and a crosser marker offer. <laughs> Dagmar, how often, how often do you record your podcast? Uh, I go live. Um, I, I need to learn how to do the recording thing. I'm still working on it, but I go live on Mondays at 1 p.m. Monday, Eastern time. Weekly. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Well, very good. You're going to fill up fast. Just one guest a week? Just one guest. Oh, I think I've already filled her January and February already with our I'm like, already <laughs> halfway through March. <laughs> yeah. I already and booked one. We do a lot March. of we do a lot of helping, you know, people get booked on stages. We have this two plus one strategy, two interviews a week, one press release a month. And so we're always looking for people who are looking for guests, right? And so those that only do once a week, we're like, oh, clear it out. Cause here we're, we're coming for you. <laughs> and we got, clients. Well, I can, we can clients. work something out. We can work something out. Don't worry. <laughs> I have to do just an extra episode a week just for, for Angel and Tina's guests. I mean, who knows? Anything to reach out more people and help them just to get inspired. I love it. Well, well, uh, Shay Brown, I was getting some of uh, our, our clients on there yesterday with Shay Brown, and he was like, you do know that you're my VIP people, that I, you know, I clear my calendar up for your people. And I was like, oh, yes. Because <laughs> we bring, yeah, we have, we have a, you know, a long list of people who are looking for guests and then we have those that are looking for stages so we get to play that that media okay. matchmaker and so dad yes. thanks i love your podcast it's like perfect it's a perfect in line in for for what our guests are looking for so awesome well ladies this has been fabulous thank you so much for coming in and being unscripted that bright start to our day I'm Angel Tussie. I am your media matchmaker. Like Tina said, we are hosting a Mastering Your 21 uh, uh, virtual event on Friday to get your goal setting and planners, mastering the calendar, those income producing activities, and just to set you up, set us all up for an even more successful 21 because the deck is absolutely stacked in our favor. We're super excited about that. That's 1 p.m. on Friday. We are going to be putting together all the information. You guys, the Connect Summits are going to be rolling out this year. Uh, we've got our- it's a little our, bit of a change. <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah, we're leveling up, right? Like last year was all about like get her done, like whatever it takes to just get it done. And now we're improving on all of those systems and how do we elevate from there? Our Media Mastery Bootcamp, we host it three times a year. The first one of the year is coming up February, February 5th through 7th, three days of Media Mastery. If you're looking for more exposure for your business, your book, or your brand, I encourage you to sign up and enroll in our Media Mastery Bootcamp. And you can get information, get your complimentary media starter kit when you go to my website, makeyourbigimpact.com. That's makeyourbigimpact.com. Well, what a fabulous um, show today because so many people are like, oh my gosh, all of your guys' stories relate to me. So thank you guys so much um, for being on today. I am Tina Torres, your client retention expert, otherwise known as the gratitude specialist. And if you're struggling with attracting the right clients, knowing how to connect to them, or even if you just don't know how to convert them into clients, I have a free complimentary guide that I hope you grow your audience organically online and offline. Learn how to connect and nurture those relationships and then turn them into paying clients. You can grab that guide if you text the word connection to 26786. And if you have not yet purchased your Beyond Gratitude book, you can still do that. If you go to beyondgratitudebook.com, you can grab your um, copy for only $5 right now. Um, it is the number one best-selling book in two hours. Um, so go to beyondgratitudebook.com. You can grab your copy. Uh, we are Angel and Tina on the Angel and Tina Morning Show. We are so grateful for you, our audience, for being our loyal fans. We hope we brought a bright start to your day. We will see you guys tomorrow.